Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahusha, Ba'asham, Ha'raqa, Kudash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Rule Well. And Shalom to the whole full act. This is Payal of the GMS London camp. And this is News and Prophecy, Prophecy and News. I have an article here from um, Sky News. All right. Hot off the press. <laughs> uh, and the title reads, um, CV19 Misinformation Wars on WhatsApp. See faith groups take on fake news. All right, and the reason why I'm getting into this is because, in tune with the spirit of Yahweh Shai, the testimony Yahweh Shai, the spirit of prophecy, we're instructed to watch as well as pray, and to measure the time diligently. And the way we do that is by watching and praying. All right, so you know, so in the watching, we see in this news that this is moving towards prophecies being fulfilled. The prophecy of Amos, I'll read it later actually, Amos, where it speaks about a famine of the hearing of the word, all right? So there's going to be a famine of the hearing of the word. That means there's going to come a time where the words that we speak, all right, starting with the apostles on down of Great Millstone and all the other groups that speak in Caesarean truth, all right, there'll be a time where you won't be able to find what we're speaking, the prophecy of Yahweh Bar Shem El Shai Bar Shem El Rakak with Dush no more. And we're speedily heading to that time. All right. So I'm going to get into this article. So it says, groups such as Muslim Council of Britain are copying tactics used by those spreading misinformation to get tr the truth out. All right. So um, they're saying that a Muslim group or different groups are basically spreading fake information about the CV19. So let's get into it. faith groups and and this is the main point. This is why it caught my eye because it said faith groups, all right? So even though in this article it 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 fingers out um Muslim or Muslim groups or or Muslim group in particular where it broadens its spectrum onto in a wider perspective is faith groups, all right? So us, the Hebrew Israelites, we fall under that, okay? So it says, faith groups, faith groups are leading the fight against Maxine misinformation on the one called uh, the lawless wasteland, wasteland of WhatsApp. Messages spreading fake uh, CV19 information are widely shared on private messaging app, all right? And everyone in their mum, like, I've had, you know, my mum send me stuff, relatives send me stuff, but they're, they're honing in on the fact that it's faith groups, all right? So, this is really, you know, the overarching theme, like, this is this is the, the grand scale into the people that this is really for, that would then make everyone fall underneath this umbrella, all right? So basically, to a greater, it's a deception by the devil, all right, that of censorship, of you not being able to speak out against the things that are being done under the guise of misinformation. We need to control the narrative and and push the the truth, the real information, all right. So that basically puts a block, a censorship, a quieting, all right, a muzzle on anyone that can speak of the truth, and mainly us, you know. The hopeful elect of Yahweh Baruch Hashem Shai, his prophets. All right. So it says, uh, this is the off. This is often through a simple forwarding feature that copies messages to other contacts, and that's something they bring out earlier, at the beginning of the pandemic. That they said, now we're gonna make it as to where you can see in the WhatsApp WhatsApp that if you can see um, if something's been forwarded on many occasions, right, many times, and it will tell you. But the Muslim Council of Britain and other groups have been pushing back on the disinformation. And really, you know, anything with Muslim in it is going to be like a, a a buzzword, basically. And it's going to get people's attention. All right. So it says Sky News has been collecting and analysing messages to monitor what type of misinformation is shared on WhatsApp. Um, so even they're saying Sky News is doing it. All right. So I wonder by what means they're doing that. Right, so that might even be when you accept the um, 
the cookies on this, it gives access into WhatsApp exclusively in the terms and conditions. That's a possibility. While also speaking to groups which are tackling the problem head on. All right. One example of Maxine misinformation messages, message, uh, misinformation message on WhatsApp is a video showing two unidentified women falsely claiming that a type of CV19 Maxine will change people's DNA. All right. And that's something that the apostles went into about the God gene, the, um, you know, the manipulation of your, your, your DNA. And ultimately, to nip it in the bud, again, it's, it's against the law for us to take any form of vaccination, all right, according to our Heavenly Father's law. And remember that in the book of uh, Judges, the third chapter, the Lord said that he, he left the five nations round about us to, to prove us see if we'll keep his commandments and then also we have our forefathers like it says in the book of uh, Sirach, the second chapter look to any that trust in the lord were they ever forsaken all right uh daniel was he forsaken no hananiah mishael and um azariah or shadrach meshach and abednego were they ever uh would they, would they when they went into the den of the lion or when they were thrown into the the, the, the furnace were they forsaken no they wasn't all right the heavenly father Yahweh Bar Shemuel Shai was always with them but going to stick into the point is that we are not meant to put nothing inside of our body all right we're not meant to make an incision so this is against everything that we stand for so reading on it says by searching for the exact phrases used by the women Sky News was able to discover that the clip was widely debunked uh, was a widely debunked video of two anti-maxination campaigners. The original video was posted on to YouTube in October 2020 before being taken down. The version shared on WhatsApp had cut the 37 minute clip down to 2 minutes and was sent to Sky News. Wow. I just refreshed it. Um, and was sent to Sky News um, in February 2021. So reading on it says, um, the video was uh, also edited to include subtitles translating the information suggesting those dis disturbing, distributing it were hoping to reach non-English and non-English audience. All right. The MCB has been trying to fight back against messages like this since the start of the pandemic. It is being create it is it has been creating MythBuster and explainer messages designed to mimic the shareable format seen in many viral viral misinformation messages. This includes adding translated translated subtitles to show short videos. One example of infographic shared by the NC MCB. So they're showing you that they basically have like a whole, you know, way that that they set up, all right, as to, as far as like um, saying don't deal with this in it. But anyway, it says the past twelve months have been an information war, according to Wajid, uh, actor, the Assistant Secretary General of the MCB, the UK's largest organization represent Brit representing British Muslims. He told Sky News people should be allowed to share worries and concerns they have, but some of the stuff that we are seeing going around definitely goes into the territory of deliberate misinformation. WhatsApp is a very specific lawless wasteland of social media. All right. So that that statement in itself <laughs> incites a lot because it, it really says that this is a place where um, authority hasn't been established. So, what does that gold? What does that gold the people of authority to do? To come over there and and you know, uh, govern you know, govern it by law, man. All right, take away that lawlessness and give it some governing, right, under their authority. Because they're basically saying it's rife with just lawlessness. All right. Uh, the MCB and British Islamic Medical Association have worked to, to get correct information out there fast. Dr. Akhtar, who 
is also vice president of the BI, BIMA, said, we didn't spend too much time trying to make a make it perfectly classically designed. An anti-maxer would just flick on his camera, rant for 60 seconds and send it off. And the lie spreads halfway around the world. So we weren't going to wait. We also, we also believe a key reason why they have seen success in the messages being sent out is that the MCB and BIMA are trusted by the community that they are talking to, all right? Clergy response team, they fall onto that as well, all right? Um, under the ideal of, um, you know, the pantheos, all, all gods or all powers, you know, all religions coming together. He said, it's human nature that you are more likely to listen to your friends or colleagues. We are literally the person praying next to them in the mosque. We are relatives or friends. The British Muslim uh, community is not alone in facing the issue of uh, vaccination hes hesitancy. All right. Office for National Statistics Data uh, released this week found people from black, Asian and other minority group communities in the UK generally appear to be more hesitant about taking the vaccine compared to white adults. Hesitancy was highest for black adults. And that's put a bloody target on our back, all right? Because now they're saying we're going to be the ones that are most hesitant to take the, the thing that's going to take away COVID, uh, shit, the David, um, and we don't want to feed into it. So that in turn is going to say that what? That we're a problem, right? We need to be, we need to be targeted so that the, 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 the pandemic that's gone across the globe doesn't grow rife in our community. It's basically putting a stain upon, you know, Jake, man, making us look like we need to be governed, all right? To, so that this can all go away. The Hindu Council UK, HCUK, the largest umbrella organization organization for Hindus living in the UK, has also been taken in misinformation battle to WhatsApp chats. Spoke spokesman Rajnish uh, Kashyap told Sky News how anti-Max messages circulating in the community WhatsApp groups preyed on fears and concerns. So you see these overarching groups, they're basically governing, they're, they're, they're a, 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 a conduit, an arm for, you know, the B system to basically utilise and govern the people. So it says, um, we started noticing that misinformation on social media, especially on WhatsApp, was fueling Maxine hesitancy, religiously targeted messages falsely claimed that Maxines contain animal products. For Muslims, it was pork, and for Hindus, it, it was beef, he told Sky, Sky News. All right, so that's a means as not to take it. And really, that's the thing. Hey, the reason why we can't mess with it is down to, based solely down to, well, that's it. Keep your, your temple holy. You ain't meant to put any foreign entities into your body that goes against the law, all right? The laws of Yahweh Shem El Shai, but then even more so, you ain't meant to make no decision in the flesh. So it says, Mr. Kashia said that uh, so-called anti-Max messages have been circulating in the Hindu community more frequently since September by December. So, since September, by December, it had been become a real cause for concern for HCUK. It began using WhatsApp net networks established during the first lockdown to share correct information about the vaccine. Mr. Kashap believes its efforts to uh, combat misinformation on WhatsApp has made an impact. WhatsApp has previously taken action to combat misinformation on its platform, such as in April 2020, when it received how many ti times a message could be forwarded. But the time, a, but at the time, a spokesman said forwarding can contribute to a spread of misinformation, and that we believe it's important to slow the spread of these messages down to keep WhatsApp a place for personal conversation. Um, 
it did not respond to a request to comment on his article. All right. So yeah, as you can see, this is forwarding. This is moving ever so forward to the time of the famine of the air and to the, of the word, which is a beautiful thing. All right. So this is Amos eight and eleven. It reads, "But all the days come, saith the Lord, power Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of the airing of the words of the Lord." All right. So there's going to be a time when there's going to be a famine of the airing of the words, the word of the, of Yahweh Barshem El Shai. All right. So let me read this. We're going to read Romans ten, and then Matthew. Right, Romans 10. It says Romans 10 17. So faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Most High. But I say, have they not heard? All right, that's the question. Yes, verily. You know, rhetorical question. It was heard. Yes, verily. Their sound went out into all the earth, and the words unto the ends of the world. All right. So they did hear the word. The word has gone out to the whole end of the world. But in hearing the famine of the word, it also feeds into this prophecy as well. All right. Which basically um is a good is a good thing. All right. Which one is it? Uh yeah, that's it. Matthew twenty four and fourteen. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. All right. So, basically, in the famine of hearing the word, and all these things happening, moving towards censorship, it's a beautiful thing. All right. Because basically, it speaks to the end of this world and the established ushering in of the kingdom of heaven. All right. Let me finish out with this. So uh, Luke twenty one twenty seven, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming with in a cloud of power and great glory, and when these things begin to come to pass, this is really the point. All right, verse twenty eight. So Luke twenty one twenty eight, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads. All right. So when we see all these prophecies come to pass, look up and lift up your heads to look for what? For your redemption draweth nigh. All right. So our redemption draweth nigh, all right? Salvation by Lord willing, we be saved, we be found worthy, and the Lord don't impute no iniquity upon us, that we may be saved in the salvation of Yahweh Barashem El Shai, all right? So with that, man, I say, Shalom, I pray you're edified to the next one. Shalom, shalom, shalom.